Hi there, I'm Dr. Megan Monday, and if you're like me and you are obsessed with card pulls, I've got you here today. I love to pull cards as inspirational to help me align with my vision, simply for confirmation or affirmation purposes. And so today I thought I would just do a super quick little card pull for the month of July based on your horoscopes. Let's start with Aries since they are the beginning of the Zodiac. Ooh, this one popped up. Okay, so for my Aries friends, block out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environments by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distract you from what's important. You already know what the distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. Okay. So Aries, I know it's summertime. I know maybe you're staying up late or maybe you've had a big disruption since you're going through your eclipse cycle. And so whatever the case may be, if it is something that is bringing you focus, go with it. If it's something that it's a distraction, then we might need to take a deeper look. I often like to look at what we feel compelled to do. And sometimes when we're feeling compelled to do something, it could be kind of coming from a distractionary force, something that is like tempting us rather than a sincere desire. Now, if you have an important why for doing it, then that's probably a more positive thing. But sometimes when we just get like a craving or an urge. Sometimes that can be um, a distraction. So there's your little tip for the month, Aries. Let's go on to Taurus. All right, Taurus, what do we have for you this month? Okay, we've got detox your friendships here. So it says your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. Oh, Taurus. So be discerning about your associations and relationship. Okay, someone getting into your pockets, either literally or figuratively. So you might have to like figure out what to do there. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. Okay, so, you know, we want to definitely look at your peer group. Obviously, the people who are around us the most really influence our success. They say you want to be kind of the dumbest person in the room. I find that that can kind of get into your head too. So let's just say, let's surround yourself with successful people, particularly if you have people who are low vibration, who are caught in addictive things, who are pulling you down that path. We definitely want to cut. Time to make some cuts. Taurus, you deserve it. You know your worthiness and you love the finer things, right? So why are we settling for people who we know are not a good fit. Time to be in your villain era and relentless about making cuts. Okay, let's do Gemini. Gemini. We've got Jupiter that just transited your sign. So we've got a whole new vibe. This is your year. We've got partnership as the card here. And so that is allow healthful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career. Both parties benefit as a result. So we got mutually beneficial relationships. You are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources. All right. Sounds like there may be a sugar mama or daddy in your future. I love that for you. We want to allow healthful, supportive partnerships into our life. Okay. So kind of like Taurus, we need to make some cuts. If there are some people who are dragging you down, look at this beautiful image right here. We've got some nurturing, supportive relationships either on their way. Don't let yourself block them, okay? We want to let the good things into our life, ASAP. And there are people who are wanting to give to you, okay? So I see a lot of times people find blocks with receiving, okay? Sometimes we're used to being the givers and it it's scary to like give over your power to someone else, okay? I have a, a tapping meditation on how to release a broken heart and not be afraid of it happening again. So go check that one out if that is for you. Okay, Cancers, happy birthday. My birthday's coming up. I'm a Cancer. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, cooperation instead of competition. Love that as a feminine principle. Whenever we're in competition, it's our ego, right? Our egos can definitely get in the way. 
So what's yours is yours and no one can take from you. There's no need to compete and there's abundance for all. That's so life-giving. I love it. You have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. Okay, Cancer, time to collaborate. It's a great month to collaborate. And, you know, sometimes when we collaborate, it can just unleash the gifts of both parties or multiple parties. And so definitely stop playing small. Let's get all of that competitive fear mindset and into a collaborative, abundant mindset. All right. Oh, Leo, you got a double. Okay, here we go, Leos. You know, you got to be extra, right? If you're a Leo. What do we got here? We got savings. As you consistently save for your future, you do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus on your life purpose. Okay. Time to get savings happening. You know, there's some great little apps that'll like auto transfer the savings. I was watching a video earlier that if you want to save 10K, it works to about 26 ish dollars a day or about 800 bucks a month, just roughly rounding up and down here. But yeah, get your savings so that you can feel liquid and have courage to ask for and accept help. I know sometimes we ask for help, but we won't accept it. <laughs> I can tell you as a therapist, that happens a lot, right? We not only want to ask for it, but we can allow it. We want to embrace it. Asking for help is a sign of strength as is accepting it as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept the assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. All right. So maybe ask for help with your savings account. (laughs) Maybe you and your partner, if you are partnered, come up with a savings plan and let's get that going for you. Okay. Let's look at Virgo. Virgo. Okay, we got bountiful nature. So that says spreading time in nature helps you shift to a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pet, meditate beneath a tree, garden, sit under the stars, and do some other activity to connect with limitless vastness. I spent a bunch of time outdoors for 4th of July and it was so grounding. And even though it was like sweaty and hot, it was very life affirming, life giving. So go outside to connect with abundance. This is a really great abundance tip. If we might be short on cash, there is an abundance of oxygen, an abundance of leaves, an abundance of trees, an abundance of even insects, right? And so in nature, we can see that things are abundant. So that can really help us shift out of scarcity mindset. Okay. Libras. Conscious consumer. All right. So this says you have the power to heal and help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. As a conscious consumer, you choose to invest in fair trade and organic goods. You sim- you live simply and you purchase only that which you need. Okay. Oh my gosh. I can't. <laughs> it seems like every time I turn on a video, it's talking about how bad this product is or that product is, right? And so, you know, our things that we are consuming are not being made with integrity a lot of times. And so it is important to do our research, not just trust and blindly accept that these things are okay for us because they may not be. A really kind of like fun little hack for that is energy testing. So you can kind of look it up, but similar concept to using a pendulum, but you can energy test. If something's good for you by putting it up to your heart, if you're standing, if you tip tip forward, that's usually a yes. If you back up, that's usually a no. So you could put, I usually do it with my cell phone. I don't have it right here, but like I'll put my cell phone to my heart and usually it'll back up a bit as in like my heart vibration does not enjoy the electronic vibration. So yeah, just see if you can do a little research, be a little intentional and Make sure you're spending in a, your money in a way that aligns. Okay, Scorps. Let's do some Scorpio. Take a divinely guided chance. All positive change. Beautiful card here. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk. Are you ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories? 
I know it can be scary. As you leave behind what is comfortable and familiar, but no longer find appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. So one thing I always say about my Scorpios and why I love you all is if you tend to be the ride or dies, right? So this can kind of backfire if we're holding on to things that are not good for us. If you want to hold on tightly to something, let's make sure that it's a good thing for you. Yay. Okay. Let's do Saggies. All right. Release jealousy. Oh, Sag. <laughs> no, if there's anyone who's juggling some relationships, I swear it's my Saggies here. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's success inspire you rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. This reminds me of the competition card we got a little bit. And I really like to, when I'm, say, scrolling social media, you know, there's those people you, like, hate follow, love, hate follow. And so when I see someone who's got something that I would really, like, love but feel like it's not possible for me, I just acknowledge that if they can have it, I can have it too. And so usually when we feel that jealousy, jealousy really is fear of losing a person. Envy is really more like wanting what they have. So, you know, that's more like the technical terms. People just sort of use them interchangeably. But I think what sort of undermines both of those is the fear of loss, right? So like you can't have that thing you want. Yay. Okay, Cappies, let's do you. Okay. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. Yes, please. Okay. I know we're coming up on that final little Pluto into Capricorn to wrap up this like past 16 years. And from what I hear, it might be a little challenging, right? But blocks are being lifted. So all your good personal work and positive energy shifts have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement on your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. Okay. I like this even as an affirmation. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. So many times when we've had things not work in the past, especially for Capricorns who like we're going to like maybe force it or push a little harder than maybe necessary. I think it is important to remind yourself just because it didn't work out in the past does not mean that it's not going to work out in the future. So we do want to remain hopeful and pragmatic. And the most important thing is you're willing to put the hard work in. And so we have really do have to believe that it's possible. Let's look at Aquarius. Ooh, pay yourself first. Huh? Make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you are be saving to invest in your present and your future. Okay, so pay yourself first. I think this is sort of like the rich dad, poor dad philosophy, but so many of us don't do it. And so building up like, oh shit fun can be super helpful, can create a sense of safety, can really help us get out of like the kind of predatory credit cards or loans or whatever. You know, if we have savings, then we can borrow the money from ourselves if we need it. So pay yourself first and make that kind of a self-care practice. And then finally, Pisces. Let's get it going, Pisces. What do we got for you? Ooh, raise your promotion. Yes, please. Congratulations, an increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is the result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. Okay, so if this hasn't happened yet, maybe it's a good time to ask for a raise or promotion. You know, the worst they can say is no. So, I mean, that is such a key to success. If you don't mind hearing a no, then you will get so much further than if you're afraid to hear it. So thank you all so much for joining me for this July edition. This is the Angels of Abundance card. Oops. <laughs> Just getting Angels of Abundance card if you're interested. Just picked up this little deck and so just wanted to do a quick mini reading for you and see how you like it. If you like this, then be sure to like, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. It really does help the channel. And if you would like to tap into your abundance, one of the best ways to do that is to tap into your pleasure. So I have a free Pleasure Pathways ebook to find out what your pleasure profile is. Once you know your pleasure profile, then you can really maximize the abundance by feeling good more of the time. So check out that download in the link below. 
See you next time. Bye.